pig scrapers are inserted into the pipeline system of the pig launcher. A valve interlocking system is used to protect the operator, the appliance, as well as the environment. The operation of the valve interlocking system is explained in the following animation. Key A is removed from the control room. Then key A is inserted into the sequence control unit, SCU. The induction regulator of the SCU is set to position 1. This releases key B from the SCU and it can then be moved to the interlock system, BC. Key B is inserted into the valve interlocking system, BC. Then the valve can be opened and the excess gas can escape from the pig launcher. In this example, it is burnt off. Key C becomes free and will be moved to the valve interlocking system CD. Key C is inserted into the valve interlocking system CD. Then the valve can be opened and the excess oil or any other media can flow out of the pig launcher. In this example, it is collected into a container. Key D becomes free and must be moved to the SCU to confirm that the system has been vented and emptied. Key D is inserted into the SCU. Now the induction regulator can be moved to position 2. Then Key D can be removed again from the SCU. Both valve interlocking systems are closed again in reversed order. Key B will get back to the SCU via Key D. Now Key B is in the SCU and the switch can be set to position 3. This will free Key E which is needed to open the pig trap. Key E is moved to the pig trap lock E at the end of the pig launcher and inserted. Now the pig trap and the pig launcher can be opened to insert the pig scraper. When the pig trap is closed again, key E is released and can be moved to the SCU. Once key E is back in the SCU, the induction regulator is set to position 4. This will free key G, which is then moved to the valve interlocking system FG. Key F is inserted into the valve interlocking system FG. After operating the valve interlock, key G becomes free and is now moved to the valve interlocking system GH. Key G is inserted into the valve interlocking system GH, which can be opened. Key H is released and moved to the valve interlocking system HI. Key H is inserted into the valve interlocking system HI, which can be opened. The medium fills the pig launcher. Key I is released and can be moved to the valve interlocking system IJ. Key I is inserted into the valve interlocking system IJ and the valve is opened. Key J is released and can be moved to the valve interlocking system JK. Key J is inserted into the valve interlocking system JK, which can be opened. The medium flows in small amounts via the bypass pipe into the scraper. Key K is released and can be moved to the valve interlocking system KL. Key K is inserted into the valve interlocking system KL. By operating the valve, the so-called kicker pipe is completely opened. To create higher pressure behind the scraper, the pressure in the main pipe must be reduced. To do this, key L is inserted into the valve interlocking system L. By operating the valve, the pressure to the main pipe is reduced so that the scraper is pushed from the pig launcher into the main pipe. Once the pig scraper has been pushed into the main pipe, the reduction in the main pipe can be released. This will relieve the pressure on the pig launcher. Once the valve interlocking system L has been opened again, all valve interlocking systems are closed in reversed order. Key F will get back to the SCU via keys K, J, I, H and G.
After key F has been inserted back into the SCU, the induction regulator is set to position 5. Key B is removed to empty the pig launcher once again. Key B is inserted into the valve interlocking system BC. Then the valve can be opened and the excess gas can escape from the pig launcher. In this example, it is burnt off. Key C becomes free and will be moved to the valve interlocking system CD. Key C is inserted into the valve interlocking system CD. Then the valve can be opened and the excess oil, or any other media, can flow out of the pig launcher. In this example, it is collected into a container. Key D becomes free and must be moved to the SCU to confirm that the system has been vented and emptied. Key D is once again inserted into the SCU. The induction regulator is set to position 6. Then key D is removed from the SCU and key B can be moved back to the SCU via the valve interlocking systems CD and BC. Key B is back in the SCU. The induction regulator can be set to position 7 so that key A can now be removed. This guarantees that no unauthorized opening of the pig launcher is possible. After removal of key A, the induction regulator is set back to position zero. Key A is moved back to the control room.